Hi, I am Dr. Prashant Kumar Borti, Professor, Mechanical Engineering Department, GIS College of Engineering, Kollan. My subject of this is Advanced Valiant Technology, ME703A, question number 5, Submarch Chart Quality, SAW. Time. Introduction to submerged arc welding um, process, features, general operating conditions, types of submerged arc welding, advantages, limitations, and applications. Introduction to SAW submerged arc welding is a method in which heat required to fuse the metal is generated by an arc formed by an electric current passing between the electrode and the workpiece. There is no visible arc and no spark, spatter or film. The electrode may be a solid or cold wire or a strip. SAW is normally a mechanized process. Submar chart holding images, these are the submar chart holding website type of welding is there and right side another picture is there. Fluxes are covered welding area. Process of submerged arc welding. Similar to MIG welding, ACW involves formation uh, arc between a continuously fed wire wire to the foot and the workpiece. The process uses a flux to generate protective gases and slab and to add alloying elements to the welding pool. A sealing gases is not required. Prior to welding, a thin layer of flux powder is placed on the workpiece surface. The arc moves along the joint line and as it does, so excess flux is recycled by a hopper. Remaining fluxes slag layer can be easily removed after welding. As the arc is completely covered by the flux layer, heat loss is extremely low. This produces a thermal efficiency as high as 60 degree compared with 25% for normal manual metal arc welding. There is no visible arc light. Welding is spatter free and there is no need for fume extraction. Process of SAW. Molten well and, and the arc choke are protected from atmospheric contamination by being submerged under a blanket of granular fusible flux. Flux consists of lime, silica, manganese oxide, calcium fluoride, and other compounds. When molten, the flux becomes conductive and provides a current path between the electrode and the work. This thick layer of flux completely covers the molten metal, thus preventing spatter and spark as well as suppressing the intense of ultraviolet radiation and films that are a part of the sealed metal arc welding, SMAW process. This uh, left side is a process of SAW, the so continuously fed electrode and the flux is uh, some side, fluxes are being given. And this is another picture where the Toad is passing on the line of the joining and flux is hopper is there, flux feed from hopper. Flux. Flux used in SAW are granular fusible mineral containing containing of manganese, silicon, titanium, aluminium, calcium, zirconium, magnesium, 
other compounds that are such as calcium fluorides, especially formulated to be compatible with a given electrode, with electrode wire type so that the combination of flux and the wire yields desired mechanical properties. Type of fluxes. The main type of fluxes for SAW are bonded fluxes and fused fluxes. Produced by trying the ingredients, the bonding them with a low melting point compound such as a sodium silicate. Most bonded fluxes contain metallic deoxidizers, which helps to prevent the well porosity. These fluxes are effective over rust and mill scale. Fused fluxes produced by mixing the ingredients, then melting them in an electric furnace to form a chemically homogeneous product, cooled and ground to the required particle size. Smooth, stable arc with welding currents up to 2000 amperes and consistent well metal properties are the main attraction of these fluxes. Features of flux. Flux hopper, it stores the flux and control the raw fluxes deposited on the welding joint. Welding heads, it fit flux and filler metal to the welding joints. Electrodes, filler rod metals get energized here. Flux, the granulated flux sealed and thus protects the molten well from atmospheric contamination. The flux means well metal and can simplify its chemical composition also. Features of flux, SAW. Electrodes, SAW filler material usually is, is a standard wear as well as other specific special form. This wear normally has a thickness of 1.6 millimeter to 6 millimeter. In certain circumstances, twisted wear can be used to give the arc and oscillating movement. This helps fuse the tau of the weld to this metal. The electrode composition depends upon the material being welded. The electrode. Alloying elements may be added in electrodes. Electrodes are available in to weld mild steels, high carbon steels, low and special alloy steels, stainless steels, and some of the non ferrous of copper and nickel alloy. General operating conditions current that total welding current can range from 100 ampere to 3600 amperes where wires in one molten pool from 1 to 6 millimeter voltage 20 to 50 volt speed 30 to 350 centimeter per minute deposition rate is 2 to 100 kg per hour Types of saw, submerged arc welding can be divided into five types single wear, twin wear, tandem, tandem twin, multi wear. Single wear. Single wear welding is most widely used as a SAW method. DC power source is used. The solid or core wear of diameter 2 to 4 mm are used. A small diameter produces a higher deposition at the same rate. This flux hover, where is fitted, welding wires, wire feeder unit, power source, base material, flux, fill, welding the directions. This is two new twin wire. For twin wire welding, two wires are connected. To the same power source, DC power source is used. It offers up to 30% higher deposition rates 
and can be used at higher currents and speeds. Very high current welding speed can be achieved in fillet welding. This is a flux hopper where welding wires, wire feed unit, power source, flux mill, and this material. Tandem In tandem sub arc welding, each of the two wires are connected, is connected to its own power source and fed simultaneously by its own feed unit. Both AC and DC source can be used. The wire are normally large diameter, C to 5 mm, and deposition rates are about twice that of single wire welding. This is a flux hopper, twin wire is fitted, and power source, wire feed unit, flux fill, and this material, welding directions on the right side. Tandem twin. This up tandem twin process involves two twin wire heads placed in sequence. Both AC and DC source can be used with the use of 4 into 2.5 millimeter wire, where deposition rate of up to 38 kg per hour can be achieved. This is a tandem twin process. So, wire fit is in on the two sided and the flux hopper. Wire feed unit, multi wire. So there are up to six wires can be used together, each with their own power source. The lead wire is usually DC plus polarity, with the trailing wire being AC. Speed of up to 2.5 millimeter per minute can be achieved giving a maximum deposition rate of 90 kg per hour. This technique is particularly suitable for longitudinal pipe welding. Advantage of shock, high quality, little risk of undercut and porosity, no spatter, very little risk of lack of fusion due to deep and safe penetration, high deposition rate, advantage of SAW, high thermal efficiency, no radiation, high welding speed are possible, deep penetration rate, low distortion. Limitations, precise joint preparation required, no observation of arc and process during welding, is possible, high operational effort. It cannot be used for plates less than five millimeter thickness. Flux is subject to contamination and absorption of moisture. Solidification cracking is a limitation. Irregular wear fit also it is limitation. Application of ACW. ACW is ideally suited for longitudinal and circumference part welding due to high fluidity of the weldwood, mountain slag, and layer. Welding is generally carried out on part joint in the flat positions and fillet joints in both the flat and horizontal vertical position. Fabrication of boiler pressure, pressure vessel. Railroad tank cars, structural shapes and cylinders, circular welds, beam production. Ship building, circumferential welding in wind tower fabrication, longitudinal pipe welding, nickel waste alloy, surface application. 
these are the references from where I have collected this. Thank you.